Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together. There's one thing always we see Muslims they do in order to promote their belief. And nothing wrong with somebody trying to invite people to believe in whatever he supposedly think it is right. But what is amazing that Muslims they fabricate lies to make people believe in their belief. And today is no different. I will show you one of many examples, it's all over the internet. This is the channel in front of us, and we have a video credit link for the channel, so they will not say we are using their videos, we are using it according to copyright law of fair use. A channel called FTD Facts. But if you check this channel, you find there is no fact there, it's just a pure lie. And today, in front of you, and I invite all the Muslims to challenge me to prove to me that he is saying anything truthful in his videos. Let us start with the video and not to waste time. 10 surprising things mentioned in the Quran. Let us see what are they. Theology, but also for some surprising things that are mentioned in the Quran. Welcome back guys to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and let's just jump into this. I have 10 surprising <laughs> things mentioned in the Quran. So we're starting at number 10. Let's look at the origin of life. Now water is essential for all living things and we all know that water is a basic need for life. Did he just say all of us we knew that water is all a basic need? All of us we knew. So what is the miracle? Let us see. Life, but in the Quran, there's a very surprising claim in it. We made every living thing from water. Will they not believe? And that's found in the Quran, Surah 21, verses. As long all of us, we knew that the basic living or need of life is water. That's mean the one who need water, obviously he is made from water. But here we have a mistake in the Quran. Why? Listen carefully. 30. So this verse, we see that water is pointed out as the origin of life. All living things are made up of cells, and we now know that cells are mostly made up of water. For okay, let us stop here. But if we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah, he said, that he created genie and angels. The genie are created from fire, and the genie are created from light. But the verse he just quote for us, it says, every living thing. So, uh, how everything is created from fire, from, from water, then the Quran says that not everything is created from fire. Now remember, he is the one who quote for us the verse saying every living thing. Is the genie a, a, a very living thing according to Islam? We don't believe in genie. This is a fiction of Muhammad. This is from the fictions of the Persians and, you know, or, or the, the legion, the Satir al-Awwalin. He has created the jinn from fire uh, uh, free of smoke. Where is the water? No water. Same for the angel. Muhammad in the hadith, in Sahih hadith, he says, Allah, he created the angels from light and uh, the genie from fire. So this is a clear contradiction for the Quran because the verse of the Quran saying it clearly, وَخَلَقْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ no exception on the verse. Every living thing is created by Allah. Now here the Muslim, they try to get smarter and they say, well, he is talking about every living thing in the earth. Well, uh, first of all, Adam wasn't created in the earth to be considered created in the earth. And the genie wasn't created in the earth to be considered created in the earth. And in the top of that, both of them, they live in the earth. And according actually to Muhammad, that angels are accompanying Muslims right now as we speak in the earth. There is one angel in the right of his shoulder and one in the left. This is why Muslims are not allowed to spit in the side. Otherwise, he will be spitting on the angel and that will make him upset, he will bite you. So here it's, you know, here it says the verse, we made every living thing from water. But this is a chapter 21, verse number 30. It's a total contradiction for the other verses in the Quran, we're saying Allah created angels from light and genie from fire. When you say every living thing, that's mean there is no exception. Every living thing. L thing. You see, not, not even say a person. Every living thing. Which means anything. Can be human. Can be a subject. Anything. Can be a tree. 
every living thing. And then we find that the Quran cannot maintain its own language and show us stupidity. And you know, you know, everybody knows that the water is not only important. If we don't have water, we die. So where is the where is the miracle here? But what what funny is that he mentioned this so he can help us to expose the stupidity of the author of the Quran and how he contradict himself. Now remember, the Quran says, if this is a book not from Allah, uh, you will find, uh, you know, you will find a lot of contradiction. The Quran says that, not me. لو كان من عند غير الله, you know, if you if this book was not other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. Chapter four, verse number eighty-two, as you see. So we just proving in a second that the Quran is a book of contradiction. So how the Quran can be a book of God, and yet this God he contradict himself in the same book, in the same statement about the same creation he created. Don't he knew that this is wrong? How this is can be from God. And now if we continue in the video, so the first one was bingo. We got him busted. Maybe in the second one, he will survive it, Mr. FTD, whatever his name. Let us see, maybe the second statement he will say, it's not a lie, the same as the first one. For example, 80% of cytoplasm. Let us escape here. He start trying to And look, they, they start talking about plasma and etc. I mean, <laughs> let us go to the second one and laugh. Okay, what is the second one? Plasma, huh? Hmm. Allah is talking about the plasma now. In the deserts of Arabia, the last thing somebody would have guessed is that life came from water. You see, I mean, in the desert, imagine a person who lives in the desert, he will not imagine that life is coming from water because people who live in the desert do not need water to live. I mean, come on. The guy lives in the desert of Alaska, so there is no way he will notice that if there is no water, his animals and him will die. How? A, a person in the desert, he noticed that water is the reason for life for them. It's impo impossible. Yeah, okay, tell us more. There's also a surprising claim at number nine about iron. So iron apparently is unnatural to earth and it did not form. That's a big fat lie. Go before, before Muhammad and they say to you something, get them busted. Go right now, search in Google, you will find that iron is the essential and important thing for life. Actually, our blood have a lot of iron. If we don't have iron, we die immediately. So what do you mean it was not? Secondly, they will say to you that scientists, they say iron came down to the earth. The scientists did not say that. The scientists says there is a percentage, little percentage of the iron came from the sky by meteor. Otherwise, the magma is full of iron. And if you go to the verse, let us give him a chance to quote it. Form on the earth, but actually came down from outer space. This false, false. The magma did not come from outer space, you idiot. The magma come from the space. <laughs> and the funny, he's shown us the magma. <laughs> Or maybe he's showing us uh, they are making uh, iron. <laughs> this is according to many scientists. According to many, according to many scientists, always Muslim, they refer to many scientists, but they will never show us where it says that magma is coming from the space. There's no one scientist exists in this universe says such a statement. They lie. And if we go to the verse in the Quran, we will find the Quran doesn't say what they are saying. The Quran is claiming anything you have, Allah has sent down, including feather, including your underwear, including your pant. Let us go and see the verse he is quoting. And you will see in the same verse, and this is showing us how they lie. In the same verse, it says that Allah has sent down many things. Why they did not take the, literal, the, the, the other things literally? Look what it says. Uh, let us change the translation, use the one he is using. Let us see. Uh, I'm not sure which one he is using, but obviously it's not this one. Uh, okay. And then here, okay, he will reveal to them. You see here, he did not use the send down, the, the translation. That's why we need to use the translation he is using. 
I'm not sure which one. Uh, maybe Sahih International. Okay, here we go. And we send down to them the scriptures. Did Allah he send down literally a written book? The only book, uh, the Quran claimed that Allah write by his hand is the book of Moses. And then we send them the balance, the mizan, and we send down the iron. Okay, so Allah send down the messengers, Allah send down the books, Allah uh, anything Allah speak about, he say we send down. So how come the Aaron became a miracle here? And look what it says. And we send down the Aaron where is a great military mighty benefit for the people. So there was people and then Allah he sent the Aaron. Not the Aaron came first and then the people come after. And why Allah he sent it? He sent it so we can kill each other. The same as he sent the Quran so we can kill each other because the Quran is the book of hate. So look how they fabricate and how they lie and they claim it that Science says, and science doesn't say anything of what they claim. Let us go to fact number three. We will move it to fact number three. Now he will start, you know, explaining to you what science says, but you can search it and you will find. He, you know, the funny, they don't show you a fact. They say science, science, science says. Yeah. When science never say that. Let us go to fact number uh, eight. That will be eight. Okay, eight, here we go. Iron Core. Sky's protection comes in at number eight. Now, the sky plays a very important role in protecting the Earth. The sky protects the Earth from the lethal rays of the sun. If the sky did not exist, then the sun's radiation would have killed all life on Earth. So pretty much the sky acts like a blanket wrapped around the earth to protect it from the freezing cold of space. Now the Quran asks people to consider and ponder upon the sky in the following verse. We made the sky a protective ceiling and yet they are turning away from our signs. And you can find that in the Quran, Surah 21 verse is 32. Now the Hold on, just to show you how big the fraud of this guy is, the Quran says the sky is a protected roof not the earth is protected by a roof and if you read the verse you will see it is about the stupidity of muhammad where he's claiming that shaitan he tried to spy at allah and each time shaitan he tried to go out allah will shoot his ass by a star let us get them busted he said what verse let us hear again what verse he said away from our signs and you can find that in the Quran, Surah 21, verse is 32. 21, 32. Be my witness. Let us go there. Here we go. This is 21. And this is the verse he quote for us. And you will die laughing at the stupidity. This is the verse. And we have made it the heavens as going to be well guarded. The one is guarded is not the earth, is the heaven. And what does that mean? Let us see. We go and we read this. Chapter 15, verse number 17, 16, 18, etc. Here it says, uh, And we made the sky, we placed within the heaven greatest stars, have beautified, for, like to beautify it for the uh, observer. And this is again a mistake in the in science because most of the stars, the majority of them, maybe 9.99999, whatever nine you want, we don't see. So what do you mean we made them to beautify to observers? The Quran claimed that we see all the stars. That's a mistake. Secondly, so he made the mistake and we have a protected, the protect what? The sky from every devil expelled from the mercy of Allah. But there is a devil he did not expel from the mercy of Allah. I mean, this is a stupid statement. And then, except one who still hearing and pursued by a clear burning fire. Do you see it? So this is the protection of the sky they are talking about. It's about a fiction and stupidity of Muhammad. They make it science. It's a, the protected sky is not the atmosphere. How then this has became the atmosphere. If you are telling me that this Muslim who made all his videos to defend Islam and to promote Islam, he did not read the interpretation of this verse, nobody will believe it. 
you can open right now any interpretation for both verses, the one he mentioned and this one, and you will see this is what it's meant. Actually, the Quran go more farther in stupidity and claim that nobody can leave the zone of the earth. And if you leave, Allah will shoot your ass. <clears throat> Let us see. <laughs> Chapter 53, 55, verse number 33. This is the Quran, and this is the science of the Quran. Surprising, surprising things in the Quran, O oh, you assembly of jinn and men. If it be, you can pass beyond the zones of the heaven and the earth, pass ye, not without authority shall you be passed. And if you try to pass, on you will be sent a flame of fire to burn you, which means you will not succeed. The only one is allowed to pass is a prophet of God. We know that Muhammad, he went in the top of a flying mule. So do you see the protected sky? The one who made it, made it about the atmosphere, it is not about the atmosphere. It's about the fiction belief, the Muslim belief in genie and potato, tomato, flying to the sky to spy at Allah. And then when they try to fly and spy at Allah, Allah, he will show them in their ass. And Allah, he made a challenge for both human being and genie to pass the zone of the earth, and we did. And the funny, the one who did is not even, at that time it was the communist. And Allah, he promised, will not let anyone, the evil one, to pass. But they pass. And here you see how they try with their fraud to brainwash you and to make you believe in something is not exist. Until now, did we find anything truthful in his statement? Zero. But this is not only him. All of them do the same. All the videos talk about 10 surprises, things. They stuck with 10, 10 surprising things, by the way, like, like the title. All of it is the same garbage. Not a single thing there is a truthful. Not a single thing is a truthful. The question why? Why people, they claim following the truth, they are not truthful. There's a reason, unless they are following the devil. A person who is following the truth, he will not lie and he will be truthful. How come this guy did not mention to us that this is not about the protected earth, this is about protected sky? And the verse says that clearly. This is not about the atmosphere. Actually, which interpretation Muslim it says in the atmosphere? And why you did not mention the connection of it and explanation of it where it says this is about the genie, he cannot go out of the earth and the human being cannot go out of the earth. And if they try to spy out Allah, Allah will show them with a star. And the funny, shaitan, according to Muhammad, he can sleep on your nose, but yet Allah, he needs a star to shoot him. And the funny, shaitan was kicked out of heaven, still shaitan, he can spy. I mean, how, how weak, how thin the bedroom of Allah to the point shaitan can spy. So here you see that the reasons of those videos or the, 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 the target of them is to fool you, not to teach you. So now we get him busted. Who in the world want to believe that there is a God he want to shoot the ass of a devil if he tried to spy at him? Isn't it obvious this is a fiction, stupid story? It doesn't even, it's not even good for cartoon. Who want to believe that there's a God? He made a warning. If you try to go out of the earth, I will shoot your ass if you are a human. And then we are in the space already. We have people right now, as we speak, they are living in the space. They are eating, drinking, and doing poo-poo in the space. So where is the promise of Allah that nobody can go out of, this, of the space of the earth? This is alone is a clearer proof that Muhammad is a fraud. He never thought that time will come and a human being will pass the zone of the earth and the heaven. And you see here, he mentioned both the heaven and the earth, which one you cannot pass any. Let us continue with the fraud. And please, I want people to promise me after we finish this video, all of you, you will download it, share it everywhere, Facebook, wherever you can. Let us continue and scroll down to number seven. 
we got you busted in number eight. Okay, now number seven. Let us see number seven, how big the lie will be. Number seven is the mountains. Now the Quran points our attention to a very important characteristic about mountains. Mm -hmm. And the verse goes as follows. Did we not make the earth a resting place and the mountains as stakes? And that passage, by the way, is taken from the Quran, Surah 78, verses 6 to 7. So the Quran indicates that mountains have deep roots by using the word stakes. To oh, like, oh, look, look, you see, you, see how, you see how they lie? By using stake, the Quran claimed that Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. But you see, you see the stupidity? He just mentioned a mistake in the Quran. As long as you are saying Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth as a stake that means mountains was not there and it was placed in the top if we go in the Quran we will find the, the following I mean those videos by the way they can be very very helpful to, to expose Islam and they are Allah, he placed the mountains because the earth is a flat like a sheet. So he placed the mountains in the top of the, of the earth. Read this, read this verse. And he has set up on the earth mountains. Do you see it? The mountains, according to the Quran, are not part of the earth. It is something Allah, he placed on the top of the earth. If you open the interpretation for the verse, you will see it says the same. Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the earth so the earth will not shake on you. And the Muslims, by the way, they say to you, according to scientists, then they say that the reason of mountains to exist in an earthquake area, because it's balanced the earth. The fact, earthquake, the mountains happen because of earthquake, not the opposite. When there's a pressure of two tectonic plates, that will make mountains. The mountains are not exist to balance as much as it exists because of the pressure, which means imbalance. So the imbalance area is the one who have mountains, not the opposite. Volcano happen because there's an balance area where magma is coming and that will keep the earth of shaking But the Quran claim that whatever mountains is it located. There's no shaking But if you go to Japan, you will find that there's a thousands of earthquake every day and Japan is nothing But a chain in this chains of mountains if you go to Himalaya is the same So the Quran is a book of a fraud in the top of that what kind of God he claimed that he set the mountains in the top of the earth when the mountains are coming from inside the earth. If we go and we search right now in Google, <coughs> Prophet Google, peace upon him, how the mountains formed. Let us do that. You will find endless pictures and videos. Go watch them. They are for free and you can watch. You will find that those are not because there is somebody he placed them in the top, but because there is a pressure in the ground, in the earth, and that will push the crust up and that will create mountains. Actually, mountains, they keep growing. Why? Because the pressure keep coming. But according to the Quran, mountains is something placed in the top of the earth. So there's many reasons for mountains to be created, either tectonic plate pressure or volcano, which means magma pressure. But the Quran says the opposite. Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth, so the mountains will stop you from shaking. Now, am I making my own interpretation? We can go right now and read the interpretation of any Muslim of your choice. And you will see all the Muslims agree that Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the earth. It was not part of it. Actually, the Quran, Muhammad, he explained to us that mountains are created in certain day. If we go in the hadith, this should show you the stupidity of Muhammad. Isn't it this is Muhammad saying this? Which means all the mountains in the world are created in one day. Do you see it? And this is Sahih Hadith. They cannot say this is weak and this garbage, you know, always they come with it. Muhammad said, Abu Huraira, he said, the father of the cats, he said, because he used to molest cats, the same as the guy they arrested him in, uh, uh, they, they did not arrest him actually. Uh, I forgot which country, Morocco, I don't know. Uh, he raped a cat. Uh, Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay in Saturday, and he created the mountains on Sunday. 
So why they didn't mention to us the science? That mountains are created in Sunday. All mountains in the world are created in one day. The earth was a flat and there was no mountains. And then Allah created the mountains on Sunday and he placed them in the top of the earth. But they will not mention that to you because you will die laughing. So this is how they fabricate. Now, if you ask yourself, who knows more what the Quran meant? This guy, potato or Muhammad? Well, obviously both of them, they are potatoes. But because Muhammad is the one who made Islam, I have to go what Muhammad say. If we go and read the interpretation for the verses, which we are quoting any one of them, you will see how they got them busted easy. And this is why I advise you when a Muslim, he says something to you about the Quran, like those surprising facts, go and read their interpretation and die laughing. A read interpretation of really scholars exists centuries ago. Not somebody is born today in YouTube and he start opening a channel should they get subscribers. As an example, if we go right now, chapter 55, verse number 33, if we go and read the interpretation, what we will find, let us see, let's try. Shall we? 55, 33. Okay. <clears throat> you see, we don't explain the Quran as we wish. We explain the Quran as it is, as the Muslim explain it. 33. Be my witness, I'm choosing the same verse, the same, etc. All right. Oh, this is sorry, we are quoting here the verse about uh, going out of the sky. But anyway, you can read it. Oh, company of jinn of a human, if you are able to pass through the, the exit of the uh, confines of the regions of the heaven and the earth, pass thee, but though, but uh, a commandment to challenge them to what they are incapable of doing. Allah challenging us to leave. And they fail. <laughs> you know? He failed. And then they say to you, except those who they are a prophet of Allah, like Muhammad, he went in the top of a donkey. So he have authority of Allah to leave. If we go to the other verse, the one we mentioned here, uh, give me a second, uh, about the mountains, chapter 16, verse number 15. Let us go there. This is a hilarious religion, my friend. This is a hilarious religion. And what make it more hilarious that those Muhammadan, they try to make the stupidity of Allah, the genius Allah. I mean, have you ever heard more fraud than this? When Allah is a stupid teaching us fiction, Allah is Muhammad. They try to make it the opposite. Look at this. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. This is the official government website of the King of Jordan. And he cast into the earth mountains, lest it shake, move with them. He cast. Do you see the word cast? In Arabic, it says, wa alqa. Alqa, he throw. Throw on. So, not only he place it, he throw it. Like, he's playing basketball. So, mountains is not part of the earth, according to the Quran. And Allah, he throw the mountains in the top of the Quran. In the top of the earth. Do you see it? And look here, it's talking about the river of Nile, the Nile River. And maybe many of you do not know that Muhammad claimed the Nile River coming from the heaven. When Muhammad, he went to the seventh sky, he found the Nile River there. Can you believe it? And the Euphrates. This is another science of geography of Muhammad. He went to the heaven, he found four rivers and they are born from there. Where? Under the tree of Allah, the lotus tree. Read it. Sihan wa Jihan, Euphrates and Nile River, all among the rivers of paradise. Do you see it? I was raised to the lotus tree, and I saw four rivers, two which were coming out, and two are going in. Those who were going out are the Nile River and the Euphrates. Muhammad did not go to heaven, he went to Ethiopia. Do you see it? I mean, the liar Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. Each time he talk, he do poo-poo. 
Muhammad remind me of a guy, you know, in the Middle East, we have a tradition. If you want to go and get married, you don't talk. Your parents would talk asking for the hand of the girl. So they have a guy, he is a stupid, you know, they told him his parents, when we go, don't talk, okay? Because the second you talk, they will know you are dumb. So don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. And that is the story of Muhammad. No time to mention the rest of the story. But Muhammad, he cannot stop talking. And the more he keep talking, he get them busted. He got the Muhammad and busted. So Muhammad did not go to heaven. He went to Ethiopia. And he is claiming that Ethiopia is the rivers where heaven is located. Up in the sky. And the funny that Euphrates is coming from all the way from Turkey, which is Constantinia, our land. And we will take it one day, God is willing. And the river of Nile is coming from our land too, Ethiopia, our brothers in Christ. But both of them, they are not next to each other. There's thousands of miles between them. How both of them, they are coming from under one tree? Because the stupid Muhammad never saw where those are coming from. He heard of them. He heard of Sihan and Jihan, he heard of Euphrates, he heard of the Nile River, and he claimed that all going, those are from, I saw them in the river of, uh, I, and by the river of Babylon, where we sit down, Muhammad the clown, he claimed he saw them down there, by the river of Euphrates, Muhammad liked to tease, he saw the Nile, and he have a big fat lie, bigger than a mile. Okay, so this is the su surprising facts about Islam. It's not what they say to us in their videos. The Quran teaching us that God, he put mountains in the top of the earth. Who is the dummy want to believe in that? But in the video, uh, the Quran, he said, he make it as a uh, nail stake in the earth. And nobody knew that before. But the verse saying he would place it in the top of the earth. And that is a stupid mistake. Your prophet, he's saying that he created the mountains in Sunday. And this is not the true. Uh, on Sunday. So like after Sunday, there's no more a mountain created. All of them, they are finished in Sunday in one day. Which, what, which mountain Allah started word first? Himalaya or Mamalaya or Baba Ganoush. So their videos is nothing but a Baba Ganoush, but it's not tasty. It's funny, hilarious, stupid. Okay, fact number seven. Let us skip the rest because the skip, you can watch it yourself, by the way. I'm not skipping, but you know, to make it short. And now, okay, fact number... Uh, let us see number six now. Okay, here, this is number six. Look, number six is going to make you dizzy. Hold on. Number six brings us the expansion of the universe. Now, at a time when science and astronomy was still primitive, the expansion... You know, this is my challenge to the old Muhammadan in the world. Where is in the Quran it says Allah will expand the, the universe? Nowhere. Not a single place Muslim believe in that. It says, He did not say, on the universe. He says, We created the world and we must own. We read the interpretation, we find it says, We would do create more. Why they lie? And by the way, the book which is speaking about expanding of the universe is the Bible. We expand the heaven like a curtain. This is the Bible statement, thousands of years before Muhammad exists. But nowhere in the Quran it says that. And let us see the verse he will quote for us. <laughs> the universe was described actually in the Quran. And in the Quran, Surah 51, verse 47, it says, And it is we who have built the universe with our creative power and keep expanding it. Where is the word it? Where is the word it? Where we can't find it. If we go in the Quran, we will find that this is a fabrication. And if we go to the interpretation, we will see that this is not true. Liars. Hmm. وَالسَّمَاءُ بَنَيْنَاهَا بِأَيْدٍ وَإِنَّا لُمُوَسِّعُونَ Where is it? What it? 
And you know, every Muslim translation will give you different translation for the verse. And the heaven we raised high with power, and most surely we are makers of things ample. Where is, where is what are you talking about? Change the translation. Maybe this translator, this is what? Shakir. Maybe other translation will do it better. Uh, let us see uh, Biktal, Muhammad Biktal. Uh, we have built the heaven with might, and we, it is who, make the vast extent. Where is the, where is the heaven expansion? Change the translation. We will go to a different one. I mean, you can keep going flying like a monkey from a tree to tree, trying to find what they are talking about. And for me, I am a person who speaks Arabic. I do not need translation. And now we can go and read the interpretation and we will find nowhere it says what they are saying. So again, it is a fraud. And why you don't quote for us the verse after it, where it says, Allah, he made the earth flat. Did you ask, did you ask him why he did not quote for us the verse before it? Where it says it clearly, we made the earth flat. Any Muhammadan wanna, wanna tell us why they did not say? Read carefully. This is here, they add the word it, you see in this translation. And the earth we had, we spread out. You spread out the earth. In Arabic, actually, it says farashnaha. We make it like a bed. Muhammad claimed the earth is a flat like a bed. Is that accurate? Let us see. Change the translation, by the way, Muslims. Who, uh, Muslims, if you are in the chat, tell me which translation you like me to show. How come you show us this verse, you don't show us this verse? The God who claimed that the earth is a flat. And by the way, Muhammad, he confirmed that in the Hadith too, and in many ways, as an example, there is there's a videos in YouTube, they are saying that Allah, he created the earth as a bowl. And they say to you that, yeah, there's a verse in the Quran, use the word bowl. Where, where, where is that? Where is the word bowl? Brother, which verse is the one? But if you search in YouTube, you will find the videos. But the fact the word there is not a bowl. It is the opposite. If you go in the Quran, you will find The word the haha. A kid who one day he came to my chat room, he don't dare to debate me. He claimed to have knowledge. He made a video on YouTube. He says uh, the Quran chapter 79 verse number 30 is speaking about the earth made by Allah as a bowl. And he says the word the haha, the one you see in yellow, mean a bowl. Well, the bowl is your, your head. The fact this word here, the haha, it says Allah, he made the earth flat. Chapter 79, verse number 30. And look here. You see, this is the Muslim between two brackets. It says the, a wide expanse. Okay. And the earth, moreover, he has extended. Does it say extended? No. Change the translation. This is Yusuf Ali. Just to show you how translation changed by changing the translator. It's a miracle. This is a religion of miracles, my friend. Just to change the translation, here we go. Suddenly, we we'll expand. It says here, spread the earth. Now, let us go to the interpretation of the scholars and see what they meant. Chapter 79, verse number 30. In the front of your eyes. 79. And by the way, I'm going to download this video too and post it in Facebook. All right? Number 30. Let us see if this is a flat earth or not. Surprise, surprise, the Quran is full of surprise, the earth is a flat. Ta -ta 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 okay, here we go. And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it a flat. This is the correct translation. Do you see it? This is not a Christian prince saying that 
This is the official government of the King of Jordan, the one who claim he is from the kids of Muhammad. This is explained why he's a fraud and corrupt. And he is the puppy of the American and the CIA. So we made the earth flat. And actually Muhammad, he confirmed that more than one more. There's many, hadith, many uh, verse in the Quran, but the most funny, hilarious one that Allah is a yo-yo who come down every night. If you remember, The hadith where Allah, he come down every day in the third part of the night. And this is Sahih. Allah, he come down, down to the lowest heaven in the third part of the night every night. But in order to have a third a third part of the night, we have to have one flat earth where we receive the same light and that will make it the same timing for all of us. So when it is 10 a.m. in the morning for me in USA, it's going to be 10 a.m. for you in Indonesia. And then Allah, he will come in the third part of the night. Actually, there's a video which I found hilarious in YouTube. Let me try to find it where a Muslim uh, a young Muslim, he asked the sheikh. Uh, he asked him a question about Allah, he come down. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I hope I can find it. And then the Muslims, I, I did play it just a few days ago. The, the Sheikh, he told him, I find your question is very disturbing. What? The guy is asking you, how Allah he come down if the earth is not flat? He said to him, anyone remember the, the, the name of the video? Uh... I forgot the name of the video. Okay, hold on. I just I want to show you how this religion, this cult work. How it functions. Let us see. I changed uh, the question format. I mean the search. Here we go. This is this is the video. How Allah descend every third part of the night. How he do that? Okay. The question was given to the sheikh, and the sheikh he found that this question is disturbing. Very disturbing. Very disgusting. Stupid. How dare you? Allah descending to the lowest heaven when one third of the night remains. I'm a little confused about it. The time when one third of the night remains varies from one place to the other. Does Allah descend to the lowest heaven multiple times? Because time <laughs> varies in different parts of the world. Mu'izz. Your question is quite disturbing. And you are a quiet donkey. So instead of answering him, he start humiliating the guy, saying, how dare you? How you ask this? Are you comparing Allah to the way we descend? I mean, Allah, he said he descend. What do you mean compare Allah? Allah, he compared himself to us. He said he descend. Descend, it means he descend. And he mentioned timing. And now it's time to humiliate the one who's asking the question because they have no answer. It's embarrassing. I find your question very disturbing, Mu'ez. Mu'ez, while you are using your brain, Mu'ez, you are a Muslim, you should not use your, your brain. How dare you? Mu'ez is a Muslim who decides to use his brain, and the second he uses his brain, they start humiliating him. Mu'ez, your question is quite disturbing. Very. The reason is that you are 
comparing Allah Azza wa Jal to us humans. Yeah, I cannot do that. The hadith is authentic without any doubt. But it, it, it's authentic, it's authentic, no doubt about it. It's true. So Allah, they send every day. And you know the funny, they say to us, Allah is all hearing or listening. So why Allah need to come down every third part of the night to hear us what we are saying? If he have a good reception. If Allah is all hearing, why he need to travel all this distance from heaven number seven to heaven number one every third part of the night? I bet you he take the bus of number, what bus he takes, six o'clock after afternoon? I don't know how many hours would take him to, to go down. So the guy is asking what kind of a prophet he say, he's a Muslim, he's not saying that, I mean, but he's wondering, this is a mistake, this is a scientific mistake. How, how this is happening? Let us hear the question from the beginning. Place to the other, huh. about it. The time when one third of the, when one third of the night is said of Allah descending to the lowest heaven. When one third, the time when one third of the night remains varies from one place to the other. Does Allah descend to the lowest heaven multiple times? Because time. Yeah, brother, Allah is a yo yo. Yo 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 yo. This is what he's saying. He's saying, is Allah is a yo yo? The yo yo. So how come the Muslim they found surprise of the Quran? They could not find those things that the earth is a flat. They cannot go out of the zone of the earth. Allah he put mountains around the earth. His name is Qaf. Do you know that the Muslim they believe there's a mountain is called Qaf surrounding the earth, and the reason we don't see him because he's a blue. We will show you that. Just okay. So now the guy he will start him uriating. This is smart Muslim was asking question. Varies in different parts of the world. Muez, your question is disturbing. Quite disturbing. Shame on you. The reason is that you are comparing Allah Azza wa Jal to us humans. Big mistake. The hadith is authentic without any doubt. Allah Azza wa Jal descends to the lower heaven when the last third of the, the night is due. And Allah says, is there anyone seeking forgiveness so I would forgive him? Is there anyone asking me so that I would give him? Hmm. Is there anyone supplicating to me? Are you going to read the whole story for us? Just give the answer, man. The guy, he asked you a question. Where is the answer? So that I would answer him? Mm -hmm. This is authentic. There is no doubt in that. But the problem is... Don't butt me. Don't butt me. What but? How this is possible that Allah, he come in the third, he's not asking you what spaceship he take, he's not asking you how he come down. This is not the question, you are changing the topic. He's asking you about the third part of the night. How this is possible unless the earth is a flat? This is the question. Here we go, the butt is coming. The butt of a Muhammadan. This is authentic, there's no doubt in that. But the problem is, that you're comparing Allah's descent to ours. No, he's not. It's Allah who said descent, not us. He used our language. Secondly, he's not asking about how he descend. He's asking you about the timing, third part of the night. Play the question again. You see the coward, they avoid the answer because they have no answer, it's embarrassing. Secondly, if Allah come down in the third part of the night to the lowest heaven, that's mean Allah is inside his creation. And that will destroy all of Islam because Muslims, they say, how Jesus can be God and he is inside the flesh, which is a creation of God. So God cannot be inside his creation. But as you see, Allah is going inside the heaven because he's coming from heaven number seven to heaven number one. He is inside it. This will destroy all of Islam. Stupid religion. And now he's going to butt you from now until tomorrow. You can watch the video and this is the name. How does Allah descend to the lowest heaven and die laughing at the stupidity of the Muhammad teaching? Now, if we go back to the video, I don't know if he's worth we continue. Well, let us continue. See number number uh, five. Look, he put his five for you. Five surprising things mentioned in the Quran. I have five more to go. But if you guys are enjoying this so far, be sure to leave a like. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to laugh at FTD lies. And I challenge the potato to call me and debate me about anything he said in his videos. Anything. 
and he will be humiliated, not by insulting him, but by showing the truth. Don't forget to subscribe to my lies, because I am the best liars, and I'm a Muslim. But I find your challenge is disturbing. More of. And by the way, if this is your first time here to this channel, be sure to hit... Oh no, don't worry, we will come back again. Don't worry, we are coming back. We are not going nowhere. <laughs> okay, give us number five now. Every single day. Okay, so with that said, let's continue with this episode. <laughs> At number five, we have the sun's orbit. That's also mentioned in the Quran. No way. I mean, come on. That's it, I'm dead. I have to go vacation now. The sun orbit mentioned in the Quran? Look, what? I wish I have a camera to show you how the, like the those those who make videos they are like surprised they open their mouth like wow you know as, as if somebody like somebody giving delivery in the what it's in the Quran you must be kidding me the sun orbit in the Quran you know what I will shave my twenty eight foot beard if it, this is this is true if this is this is this is this is this is, this is, this is true. This is the new English, by the way. This is the impact of Allah on me. So I will shave my 28 foot beard if this is, this, is, this is true. Can you prove to us what you are saying that the sun orbit is in the Quran? I think the only orbit we see is your madness. Tell us about the orbit of the, Quran, the sun on the Quran. So back in the year 1512 AD, the astronomer Nicholas Copernicus put forward his... No, 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 the, show, us, show us the verse, you know, forget about the astronomers. We, we know, we know the astronomers. You know, and the funny, the one who discovered things is Christians or Jews. And most of them, they find it in the Quran, always. No, 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 give us the verse. What is the verse? Let us go to the verse. Where, where, which verse is saying that uh, the sun have... The sun and the moon, each floating in its orbit. And you can find that in Surah 21, verses 33. It was Galileo. It was Galileo. Galileo. And they lie, by the way. They say that Galileo was arrested by the church for saying the earth is not the same. This is a, this is absolute lie. Go and check it. Galileo, he was arrested for creating a party opposing the government. But here you notice, because Galileo, you know, if he say the earth is not the center of the earth, uh, sorry, uh, is, is not a flat, uh, that's not against the Bible, because the Bible says it clearly, the globe of the earth and God he hanged the earth on nothing so how this can be against the Bible but look here the guy he mentioned to us the course of the Sun and he mentioned to us a certain verse but he forgot that the verse he mentioned is speaking about the earth the, the, the Sun and the moon they are going around the earth what what verse he mentioned what verse he mentioned the moon each floating in its orbit and you can find that in Surah 21, verses 33. 21, 33. Let us go there. Bingo. 21, 33. Spank them when it is hot. I mean, they're bun. Well, this is 21, 33. And this is your scholars explaining the verse. Let us see. And everybody will laugh at you. And the sun and the moon and the sun, its own light and the uh, and the, its own bath and the orbit allotted time and the moon, which is sunshine with different light, sunshine, which shine more than the sun and the travel in different bath has one allotted. OK, now how we explain this, this, uh, this thing? We have to go to different verse in the Quran. Give me a second. You will find that the God of Islam explained the day and the night, claiming that they swim in an orbit chapter 36, verse number 40. Let us go and see the interpretation. Go down, you will find the interpretation, and you will laugh with me. Read carefully. 
This is the orbit of the sun, brother. وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ ta -ta 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 -ta. They all float each in an orbit. All what? Meaning the night, the day, the sun, the moon, all of them floating. So the Quran claim that the day is an object, the sun is an object, the moon is an object, the night is an object, and all of them they float. Not around, uh, I mean, themselves or no, around the earth. So this is why we don't see the night come before the day and the day before the night. Do you see the interpretation? This is not my, this is not my statement. It's in front of you. This is Ibn Kathir. The Quran is claiming that the night, the day, the sun, and the moon, all of them, all of them are floating. Now, to make it more clear, who knows the Quran better than Muhammad, the founder of Islam, the one who made Shish Kabab? Let us go and see how Muhammad explained the orbit of the sun. You will uh, get ready. Your mouth will open wide as if you are eating a big watermelon and you want to bite it. Uh, Muhammad, he explained to us the orbit of the sun. Clear as a clear water. Brother, who is going to know the Quran better? A Muslim Abdul who do not know to read his name, the Prophet name correctly, or Abu Muhammad brother, read carefully. Once I was with the Prophet, and by the way, there's a guy, his name is Fifi, Allah is my witness. In his video, he's trying to refute a guy, his name apostate Prophet. He said this hadith is very authentic, and this is the only true one. In his video, Fifi, the girl, you know, the one who called me Habibi. Hey, Habibi. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Abu Dhar, the father of the ants, you have a zoo in Islam. Do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his Prophet know better. Come on. Muhammad, he loved it, by the way. He asked those questions, so you answer him. You say, Allah and his Prophet know best. He, he, he loved those, you know, he, he, he's a very ego person. He loved to be praised. That's why he chose the name Muhammad. It's not his real name. He said, it goes and prostrate itself under, uh, prostrate under, underneath Allah's throne. And that is Allah's statement. And the sun runs into a fixed course for a term. This is the orbit of the sun, you idiot. Your prophet explaining the sunset that the sun goes. Do you see how they lie? And then they start quoting for you science, scientific, etc. Say it, Galileo. He said, Galileo, may Allah Galileo you, yo yo. Do you see how they lie? Not a single thing we find that they are saying is truthful, scientific. It is surprising. Yes, it's stupid. I agree. It's surprising things in the Quran because Quran is the book of dumb and garbage and stupidity. But look how they try to make the stupidity science by mixing it with science. Okay, now this is number five. Are you, are his, is he going to say to me, he will not dare to say anything anyway, he's a coward. Do he dare to say Prophet Muhammad was lying? He doesn't know what he's talking about? Is he? I, I wish. This is very authentic hadith. This is Sahih Bukhari. And all the Fifi and the Mimi and all the, those uh, uh, girlfriends, the Muslims in YouTube, they, 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 they agree this is Sahih. Uh, and Muhammad actually, the only prophet he, uh, he found where the sun set. This is the orbit of the sun. Every day the sun goes and take a shower in a hot water under the throne of Allah. Because the throne of Allah is above, the hot, above a hot water. Read it. I was sitting behind Allah Messenger. Or was he sit behind, by the way? He, he cannot sit in the front. He don't trust Muhammad. So I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, S W A A O O F M, uh, and he said, uh, uh, I asked him, 
uh, he asked Muhammad always he liked it you know do you know where this set is the sun I replied Allah and his messenger know best he said it's set in a spring of hot warm water brother and look it says Sahih but they will say to you it's sweet don't worry do you see it I mean do we need more proofs that Muhammad is a prophet of God the man who discovered that the sperm of the man coming from the backbone by the way the reason I'm not getting married my backbone is broken I mean there's so that's it there's no sperm I bought a crazy glue I don't know if it's going to work I mean it's feeling crazy there but I mean it's not working maybe but it's a glue I mean it's a and then I I think I need to say after I bought the crazy glue I need to say my alhamdulillah or uh, inshallah because Allah you, you remember there's a story of his messenger who wanted to have sex with 99.99 women he wanted to have sex with all of them in one night so all of them they will bear babies in the morning I mean have you ever heard of a prophet he want to have sex with 99 women and in the morning they will give him kids so they go to jihad I mean what he is he's doing it in a microwave he got his sperm there he woke up in the morning he find men and then the prophet he forgot to say inshallah so Allah did not give him a children except half one half one look how insulting this is a person who is disabled so the guy with the problem he have sex with 99 women but he forgot to say inshallah brother who is the story Peter Muhammad if you are saying this is a stupid story well you are insulting your prophet thank you the Muslim who said that thank you I appreciate I appreciate your support so this is Islam the sun set in a murky water, the sun set, uh, the, and the Quran confirmed it in the story of the chapter chapter 18. And the Muslim, they try to lie, they say, oh, no, this is how Alexander the Great, he thought it appeared, but it's not. It, it You know, when you go in the ocean, uh, you see, it looked like the sun is going in the water. This is how he saw it. Uh, hold on. The one is talking there is Allah. Secondly, your prophet confirmed it. Number three, what ocean? In the Quran, in the Hadith, it says a spring of water. Since when the ocean became a spring of water? Do you see the word spring in Arabic? In the Quran, in the Hadith, it says a spring of water. Ain. Word Ain can be used for I or a spring, little fountain of water coming from the ground. This is what they call the, the, the version they call Hur Ain. Supposedly, they have like a special kind of eyes. The one you see in YouTube when somebody opens his eyes, like, Whoa! Uh, when Mimi Hijab he says, a Christian predator, Christian uh, sexual predator, he, he opened his mouth and his eyes, this is Aim. <laughs> For quoting his prophet, and I said to his sister, faithy sister, suck on me. You cannot quote what Muhammad said, otherwise, they will accuse you to be a sexual predator. This is how much they insult their prophet by quoting Muhammad you are a sexual predator and they admit it now we can continue but this is going long I will give you a chance to download the video how many of you will promise to download the video post it everywhere especially in Facebook how many of you I want to promise that you guys you will do the work how many of you will translate your own language let us see you always can create fake account, which means you don't use your information. I know if you live in a Muslim country, this is not a democratic country. They are, you know, they they have their garbage there of uh, uh, Islamic police, etc. You can make always name nobody knows to create account in Facebook, in 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 YouTube, and sh don't share no one information. Don't trust anyone and post YouTube. Let everybody see the truth. They are trying to fool millions. They are trying to fool your kids. A kid, he is yours, he watched this, he might believe it. This is why what we do here is extremely important. Everything this guy he said in his videos, not even a single one of them we find is true. And it's actually the opposite. Muhammad is not only not a scientist, he is the biggest donkey ever in history. The sun set in murky water. We show it to you in the front of your eyes. Here he is making his own false interpretation for the Quran. He did not show us where it says what he's saying. He give us interpretation for the Quran. 
which is not true. Well, well, hold on. Did he say embryology here? Embryology. Oh, well, before I finish, I want to see this one. Embryology. Embryology. So check this out. This passage goes as follows. Hmm. We created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him as a drop into a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Then we made the drop into an alaka. And that word, by the way, means leech, suspended thing, and blood clot. And by the way, this is what it means. Leech, suspended. Look at it. Look how they lie. First of all, the drop. Did he say a drop? Did he say a drop? But the baby is not created from a drop. A drop is millions of semen. The Quran says a drop. Read, read, listen carefully what he said. This is his translation, not mine. Alaka. And that word, by the way, means love embryology. So check this out. This passage goes as follows. We created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him as a drop into a place of settlement. A drop. A, tr a place of settlement? It says that in the Quran, we will see. Firmly fixed. Mm -hmm. Then we made the drop into an alaka. So the one who became something else is the drop, the sperm. But this is not true. Sperm never changed to anything. It is the egg who will be fertilized and grow. And that word, by the way, means leech. By the way, it means leech. The fact doesn't mean the leech. The fact it means. It, it, so the leech here they are talking about, they are trying to say it's like an insect. Leech is the clot, the congealed blood in the top of your skin. Let us get them busted and see what the verse is talking about. And this will be for the final for this video. Just for the sake of getting, getting them busted. Coward liars. This is the verse he is talking about. Imagine... When what translation Muslims you like? Read carefully and die laughing. And we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Congealed blood is dead blood. Search it in Google right now. So according to Muhammad, the sperm will transform into a blood. And then the blood became, the congealed blood became, uh, which is a clot, became a lump and then we made out of that lump bones and then we coated the bones with the flesh according to the quran the last thing to be dressed is the flesh you are a bones until now so the beginning is a sperm the second stage you are blood and dead blood not only blood solid blood and then after that the clot will became a lump a piece of a flesh and then that piece of a flesh will make it bones is that what science teach? What is the egg of the woman? And by the way, uh, a nutfa, he is the one who mentioned the word drop, right? It's millions of uh, semen. But the Quran claim all of it became a baby. This is the most stupid statement ever. In different verse in the Quran, Muhammad, he make it even more clear. He claim that the, sir, the, 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 the semen of the man come from the back from the backbone and the women she have semen too and it's coming from the top side of her ribs emerging from between the backbone and the ribs if you go and read the interpretation and let us show the interpretation so Muslim will not say oh we are making things up and we will choose for you as you wish if you don't like Ibn Kathir let me know by the way because all of them we die laughing at them this is Ibn Kathir, your favorite Muslim Abdul, who fabricate answers in order to refute the Christians. By the way, this book, Ibn Kathir Tafsir, written to refute the Christians. Christians in Syria, they were dying laughing at Islam. So Ibn Kathir, he wrote a book. He was the YouTuber at his time. And he came with this answer, read with me carefully. And the Muslim, they supported his answer for centuries. Because this is what the Quran is saying. So let us read together. Okay. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. The backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. What is that? A sexual fluid. Read it carefully. He is a created from a water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes bursting forth from the man and the woman. Okay, the sexual fluid is coming from where? 
Let us see the science of the Quran. It's coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. The women have sexual fluid of ladar. It's a sperm, brother. And that is coming from the location of the necklace. The tarayib is not only the ribs, it is the top location in the necklace. We mean like where, where, when a woman she wear a necklace and the necklace, necklace is short, will land between her neck and her chest. That is a tarayib. So according to the Quran, women she have a sperm and it's coming from there. And then Ibn Kathiri explained very well saying, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, it is the fluid is yellow and fine in texture, which means the women fluid. The child will not be born except from both of them. Science. You see, Quran teaches embryology. Surprise, surprise. And actually, Muhammad, actually, sorry, Dr. Muhammad. I should not say that, Muhammad. I mean, because, you know, we used to, uh, you know, Muhammad, he is a slave. He, he used to, to sell slaves. He have a business, you know. So I used to go there and say, Muhammad, stop being and buying and selling slave, you idiot, you coward. So look here. Muhammad is teaching us how the baby is made. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first? The child will resemble the parent. Do you see the science? Why you don't put that in the surprise list? Muhammad is saying that the sexual fluid in the women's private part when she is having sex, which is nothing but a lotion, is a sperm compared to the sperm of the man, which is white and thick, claiming that the thick white sperm of the man making the baby resemble the man if he have orgasm first. Claiming that the thin yellow sexual fluid of the women, if she comes first, will de decide the gender of the baby. And by the way, if a Muslim he say, doesn't say gender, I challenge you to challenge me so I can show you different hadith and get you busted. Just, just, just challenge me. Who want to challenge me? Anyone want to challenge me? This is the surprising science in the Quran, the book of stupidity. Women have a sperm coming from her ribs. That's why I'm scared, actually. You know, you marry a woman, you take her to the bedroom, she take off her clothes, she take off her bra. You don't find a breast, you find a breast testicle. But the Quran says that. And look, the person, the human being, he don't have, I mean, the man, uh, his sperm coming from the backbone. That's genius. How Muhammad knew this? Unless he is coming from God. How he knew that it's coming from the backbone. That's discovery nobody ever thought about it. You know, for me as an Arab, because I was ignorant at that time, I was thinking that sperm coming from the nose. Because I see many running nose from time to time. <laughs> you know, like... You know, it's like and, and, and there's a liquid coming out. So I thought people have orgasm from their nose. But I was wrong. And then, subhanAllah, Allah did correct me. And he gave me the light. I just like was light. There was dark and there was light. And then I found the truth that this sperm is coming from the backbone. This is why if you hit a guy in his backbone, he cannot have no sperm no more. Not, if you hit him in his uh, testicles, no problem. He will have a sperm. But if you hit him in the backbone, that's it, he's done. You know, this is why there's a famous song. It's made uh, in Arabia, it's called uh, Backbone, Backbone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, Backbone. Praise be to Allah, the God of lies. This is Islam, and this is a surprising. And those coward liars, they fabricate videos speaking about science in their garbage Quran. Download the video, share it with your friend. We will not keep it on my page for long as usual. Please download it as soon as it is possible to download. May the Lord bless you. And this is Christian Prince was with you. If you like to learn more about Islam, you can get my books and read them. And we will make more books. And if you are a person who speak Russian, Malay language, Indonesian language, 
we have the books published for free as a gift for those people and there's many websites they are publishing them all over so feel free to download those videos download those books in Malay language Indonesian language and Russian language and Albanian sorry I forgot the Albanian and soon we will publish the Polish one for free too so may the Lord bless us for helping others blessing you will receive when you help others my friend help the Muslims to find the truth share the books share the videos and the Lord is the Lord of the truth the Lord the Messiah he said search the truth search the books and the truth will set you free and today the truth is going to set us free we saw the truth we saw it to you and show it to you in the front of your eyes and they cannot deny it not a single page I showed you in the screen is made by Christians not a single word I showed you on the screen is made by Christian Prince or even translated by Christian Prince all done by the Mohammedan published by the Mohammedan printed by the Mohammedan saved by the Mohammedan explained by the Mohammedan and yet the Mohammedan they will say it's not true can you believe it for the Mohammedan is in the stage of denial they are sick of their God truth so they go to the denial stage where they fabricate lies in order to make themselves convince themselves that we have a true God when the fact the God of Islam is a fraud and we prove it here every day thank you may the Lord bless you all and this is your brother humbly with you Christian Prince see you soon again take care